peace and high frequencies going to um, tap in and talk to you all about the dream stay last night uh, several parts of it just to me were just really um, different but it did give me some insight to possibly what's going to be going on moving forward as the world ends up changing. Um, so in the first part, um, I was at, again, my old church, and we had the church barricaded out where people couldn't get in uh, because we were uh, on high alert for an attack by these different uh, entities that had a sound like monkeys. They sounded like monkeys. Um, I was training, I was training this other young girl. I was training her on what to do, what to look out for, and how to use, um, what we were using in the dream was, um, fire extinguisher with the WD-40. <laughs> uh, we were, uh, in some type of way they were attached, and when you, uh, let the fire extinguisher go, it would blow out fire instead of extinguishing it out. Um, so it was blowing out when you connect the fire extinguisher to WD-40 in the dream, it was blowing out fire. And I was showing her how to use it to blow out fire. So when these entities, energies came into the church, we'll be able to blow them up. And so um, we were, it was a group of us. I don't know, I can't even, I don't even think it was given to me on what we all had in common while we were at the church and what kept us, you know, together from the uh, energies outside. All I know, it ended up, I was in a church. The church was barricaded so nobody could get in. And I was going around making sure everybody was good, uh, making sure that my people were on protocol and they knew what to do. And if that they all had uh, the fire extinguisher and the fire extinguisher was working, they had enough WD-40. So was, I was trying to make sure that everybody um, was doing what they were supposed to do. So then um, shifting dream end up going to another and this felt like a whole different dimension because in this dimension, in this part of the dream, um, in this reality, it felt futuristic. Um, it was, I was with another group of people and within this group, we could disguise ourselves. We were able to uh, shift wasn't really shape shifting, but we were able to take on um, like the appearance of like a car or any type of mechanical or anything we wanted to take on and we could hide from these other entities. So um, it came upon us where we, we knew we were getting ready to be attacking this part of the dream, it was really all about magic. And so I knew that we were getting ready to be attacked by, and then in this dream, it was more of entities um, or energy more so, of energy beings more so than actual, you know, visual beings were more spiritual. And so, we knew where we were getting attacked. We had some people that were part of our group that were out as bait and other people that were in the group that had transformed into um, this type of car so they could be hidden so they didn't know they were there. And bear with me because it's very different. I'm trying to verbalize the visuals. And so, um, some were out as bait and some weren't. They were hidden so they could come out when they needed to, to protect the other people who were in our group as bait. 
And so when these energies came, um, the ones that were out as bait were able to capture the energy. And this is where it gets a little weird. Able to capture the energy and then um, with, with the magic, we were able to take that energy and um, like compound it and then put it into a vending machine. And that sounds real weird, putting into a vending machine, but it was weird. So we were learning how to do this. Like everybody in the group was learning how to like capture the energy and then bind it, like capture the energy and bind it. And we was like, we were able to take, um, it was of course, you know, just like a vending machine. It was different treats and stuff in the vending machine. And it was stuff in the vending machine, like of course, Starburst, and muffins and there was some other stuff it was like it ended up being like two of everything that was in the vending machine um it was like a lot of fruity candies that was in the vending machine but they came in pairs and we learned how to get everything out of the vending machine with our magic it was like we were mentally doing these things pulling things out of the vending machine and then locking and binding these energies into the vending machine so they wouldn't get out. Um, and so at first it started off where, you know, it was kind of like a few of us knew how to do it. And then we ended up showing the rest of the crew that were disguising themselves um, to end up helping those who were set out as bait. And then once we, um, it was like once we knew how to, you know, use that magic, and we even said, in the dream it was even said, like, you know, we're using this magic and we were showing them how to use this magic. And then we showed those who were um, disguised for us who were bait how to use this magic. And then they were able to pull things out of the vending machine and then house these energies in the vending machine as bait. Um, it was some more part to it because it was an actual, another energy uh, that ended up coming into physical form. And it ended up being like this older white lady um, that was, and I can't remember if she was part of our crew or if she was against us. But I do re recall her showing up and it was, you know, it was very different. So, yeah, um, that was a dream state on last night. Like I said, the first part was us using the WD-40, barricading everybody in the church. And then the second part was us actually using magic to um, bind these energies but also using magic to retrieve things out of the vending machine. So we was retrieving out of the vending machine, using magic, and then we was binding the energies inside the vending machine so they couldn't get out and do other harm. It was really great, but it was all, the second part of the dream was all about magic. The first part of the dream with the fire extinguisher and everything, it was more physical. It was more of a physical, um, like, you know, gotta use this, gotta use like force. The second part of the dream, everything was about utilizing our magic abilities, our magic powers uh, that we had, and then showing the other people that were in our group how to use their magic ability. So yeah, that was the dream state. Um, haven't quite sure deciphered it. If you're someone who deciphers dreams, please make sure you leave me a comment. Um, definitely, if these dreams resonate with you, um, if you're having any dreams, if you just want to connect, um, please subscribe, like the video, um, and then connect with me. Leave a comment, uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, The Black Fit Witch. I feel like our dreams are door openers into other realms, other realities, parallel universes. Uh, we can get in touch with our doppelgangers. Um, and we can get more insight into our existence and why we're here and where we come from. So um, that was my dream state on last night, everybody. 
and uh, please connect with me and feel free to you know give your take on deciphering my dream so um peace high frequencies